let's start with a procedure for a short field takeoff and maximum performance climb. This technique should be used when operating from runways where the takeoff area is short or when there are obstructions in the departure path. To depart such an area safely, a pilot must control attitude and airspeed so that takeoff and climb performance results in the shortest ground roll and the steepest angle of climb. To accomplish maximum performance takeoffs, the pilot must be familiar with the use and effectiveness of the best angle of climb speed and best rate of climb speed for the airplane. The best angle of climb speed, known as VX, is the speed that produces the greatest gain in altitude for a given distance over the ground. The best rate of climb speed, known as VY, is the speed that produces the greatest gain in altitude per unit of time. Experienced backcountry pilots use the short field takeoff technique to routinely operate from remote off-airport locations to get the most out of their airplanes. In the training environment, though, you'll practice this procedure from a normal runway and climb above a simulated obstruction in the departure path. When performing a short field takeoff, Set the flaps to the recommended setting from the aircraft manufacturer. Start as close to the beginning of the takeoff area as possible. Be serious about this. Make every inch of runway count and taxi back to the start of the pavement when possible. After aligning with the intended takeoff path, advance the throttle to maximum takeoff power while holding the brakes. Before you release the brakes, Scan the tachometer to verify that the engine is generating the correct static RPM range and that the other engine indications look correct. During the takeoff roll, adjust the airplane's pitch attitude and angle of attack to provide minimum drag and allow the fastest acceleration. Let the airplane accelerate on the main wheels until just before reaching VX, the best angle of climb speed which may require additional forward pressure on the controls to prevent an early liftoff. When reaching VX, firmly apply back elevator pressure until airborne and maintain a straight climb at the best angle of climb speed until obstacles have been cleared, or, if you have no obstacles in the way, until reaching at least 50 feet above the ground. Then lower the pitch attitude to accelerate to the best rate of climb speed, or VY. Once firmly established at the best rate of climb speed and at a safe maneuvering altitude, retract the flaps. Don't try to fly the airplane off the ground too soon or, once off, climb at too steep an angle. Such actions can cause the airplane to settle back to the runway or into obstacles. Now we're going to explore maximum performance landings starting with landing on a short runway. A short field approach and landing, especially over obstacles, presents a unique challenge. In a normal landing, you gradually reduce but leave adequate power on until you are sure you can make the field. Power is usually then reduced to idle as you set up to land in the first third of the runway. To land safely in a short field, you have to use a low speed, power-on type of approach right to touchdown. Such an approach and landing is required because you must accurately control the descent rate and airspeed. In doing so, you minimize floating during the roundout and touch down at the slowest possible airspeed so you can get stopped in the shortest possible distance. Start your final approach around 500 feet above the point where you want to touch down. The use of full flaps is usually recommended. Next, adjust the power and pitch attitude to maintain the manufacturer's recommended short field approach speed. If one is not stated, use not more than 1.3 times the power off stalling speed with gear and flaps full down as your airplane's approach speed. You don't want a high airspeed but rather the lowest airspeed consistent with safe operating procedure for this maneuver. Use power and pitch together. If you feel you are too high, reduce power and lower the pitch attitude to increase the descent without increasing airspeed. If too low, increase power 
and raise the pitch attitude to slow the rate of descent without lowering airspeed. Touch down in an attitude that will produce a power off stall when you reduce the power to idle. Don't reduce the power too soon before touchdown, or you may drop in and get a very hard landing. According to the Private Pilot Airman Certification Standards, the goal here is to touch down at the proper pitch attitude within 200 feet of a specified point. Once on the ground, simultaneously reduce power to idle, hold the elevator control full back, and then firmly apply the brakes upon touchdown of the nose wheel. When done correctly, this maneuver will enable you to stop in the shortest distance possible.